Broadcast Network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! <laughs> Well, good morning, good afternoon, all of you Days of Our Lives fans. Welcome to AfterBuzz TV's Spotlight On. Um, I am your host, Tony Moore. And as you guys know, over at Dishon Days, we love to bring you current and past cast members to talk about their time on Days in celebration of Days' 50th anniversary. And today is no exception, along with my wonderful <laughs> co-host, Mark J. Freeman. Hello, everybody. We have the very beautiful, divalicious... <laughs> <laughs> this the Lauren diva Coffin. of Salem. Well, no, not I, you, not oh. you personally, diva, but oh. like you know, your character Kate I, is very I diva. I liked divalicious. You like divalicious? <laughs> I was gonna go, oh, well, but now I can't. Divalicious. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new hashtag, oh. divalicious. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, Lauren. I'm so thrilled to be here. Yay. I'm excited. Yeah. Me too. I, I felt like I, I bugged you enough, so I was like, you have to be here now. <laughs> no, you didn't. It was. <laughs> we we chatted back and forth, and we then did. there were long. Silences. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> now, off in Italy, and uh, we've been playing this for a while. For a while. Thank you for being patient with no, me. No, no, no problem. Lauren was like, I, "I'm sorry, vacation got in the way," and I was like, "Well, yeah, that's kind of important." Yeah, <laughs> you actually did say yeah. that. That is true. <laughs> so we're excited that you're here. Fans Thank are you. excited that you're here, and we're just excited that Days is celebrating 50 years this year. Is that's it's, incredible? It's kind of mind blowing, yeah. really, because I remember when we had the 40th anniversary, and that seemed incredible. Mm -hmm. We had a great party, but 50 years, I mean, it's... I was at the... Um the nail salon the other day. Um, I was explaining. She said, "What are you on a TV show?" I'm like, "Let me explain the whole thing." And I said, "It's been on the air for 50 years." She was, "What? <laughs> what? 50 years? How is that possible?" I'm like, "I know. Yeah. It's pretty incredible." Yeah. So. yeah, yeah. People are always amazed that the show has been on for so long. But mm -hmm. I mean, it. it it can't not have with staying power because the fans definitely keep it going and we definitely enjoy all yeah. the things that yeah. happen in Salem because there there is a lot <laughs> that happens in Salem. There's a lot that happened over those 50 years. Yeah. yeah, no, the audience is absolutely amazing. They're so supportive. Uh, they're so into the show, you know, and I think with social media, it's so much fun now because mm -hmm, we yeah. really get to interact. Before it would be at uh, like fan events and everything, and you get to meet the fans and talk about it, but mm. now it's kind of ongoing. Yeah. It's like yeah. the water cooler with everyone. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's great. It's now, really good. when you first started on on Days, um, you actually took over the role for uh, a previous actress who yes. started. Yes, Deborah Adair. Deborah. Yes. Deborah Dare. Yeah. <laughs> was I always like to know uh, from from people who take over a role. Was it intimidating going into that, knowing that you know fans kind of are locked in to certain people, you know, in certain. Don't uh, tell people. me that. Well, now, <laughs> well, damn. Well, listen, if I had known that, I would not have done <laughs> Well, now you know you you. Now I know. Now you, it's okay. I've yeah, had now like it's twenty okay. plus years yeah. of it. <laughs> but was it intimidating um, for you going into it? Actually. I'm going to say no. Okay. Um, it wasn't because I had come out of theater. And yeah. in theater, I mean, many most of the times you're doing a role that someone else has done. Yeah, you yeah know? That's true. And very rarely do you get to do an original a mm -hmm. play. So for me, you know, I was just taking over a role and I really didn't think of it that way. Yeah. That, you know, um, and the audience was pretty responsive. I remember the very first um, Days fan event I went to. <laughs> I mean, it was really nice, except for one person came up. It's like, I really don't like you. <laughs> don't like you in the role. And I'm like, okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you for coming. Uh, you know, but otherwise, you know, it, it was great. And I think um, I hadn't really, you know, seen the show before. Yeah. So I wasn't um, familiar with Deborah Dare's Kate. You know, I didn't. Yeah. So I tried to get as much information as I could, you know, about it. It was funny because my husband at the time was doing 90210, and oh, wow. yeah, and Tori Spelling was a, a fan of Days, and she was watching. So she would, through my husband, you know, uh, his makeup artist, I got the information from Tori about Kate Roberts. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> you know, and she explained, she said, but she's not really 
bad. No. But she's not really good good. either. And I'm like, "Mm, okay. Well, I will say this. I was very upset when Deborah Dare left. And I was like, who is this new person? Oh, there there you go. But I will say this. And I'm not not saying this just because you're here. Because I'm sitting next to you. And Tony knows. I'll tell you if... Ask yes. Molly Burnett. Yes. Anyway. Uh, oh, um, okay, we're going to get real. There, yeah, there's a story there, too. Uh, there's okay. a story there, too. Um, I was like, oh, I don't know about this. And then when you you were first on the boat, the fish boat and oh, stuff. the fishing boat. Yeah, and I was like, I don't know. I actually think I'm not upset with this recast. <laughs> like, I literally was like, I think I might actually like this new oh, Kate. So, yeah, you I had me from the beginning. You, love, yeah. Thank you. Well, you have Thank always you. been my favorite. <laughs> I have Billy Flynn kiss you. I, 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 I messaged him. But then I thought, I don't want to rick <laughs> I messaged him and said you were going to be here, and I said she's my second favorite. Because, <laughs> you know, with him, I have to I understand. I yes, yes, I understand. Yes, yes. Yes. Well, you were always my Kate ever since I started Thank watching you. Days. And okay. I watched, I started watching Days by accident because I was the guy that was like, I don't get soaps. What is this? Yeah. Like, uh-huh. whatever. And then I watched one episode of Days. And by the third day, I was on the phone with my family friend. And I was like, who's this person? And why is she locked in a cage? And why is he so upset? <laughs> <laughs> I need to know. I need to know. Yeah. But but Kate was always that, that character that you love to hate. hate like yeah. There were moments where you're like, I get where you're going and there are times where you're like come on Kate (laughs) I can't go there with you uh uh can't go what has it been like for for you playing Kate like what what do you enjoy most playing well I do love Kate (laughs) wherever she goes I do go um I think it's because she she is a mystery you Mm -hmm. know it's just like not black and white with her um she 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 often is doing the things that many of us would like to do but feel like we can't do yeah. we shouldn't do you know and that's so much fun to play yeah. it really is so much and you know she could be a real bitch and yeah. you know that's great we like that <laughs> we oh, yeah. like that yeah. I mean it's great so I get to get out that bitchiness on yeah. screen sometimes off screen too mm-hmm. but um, you know and get paid to do it so. yeah now we we know that, that Kate is very loving of her kids on the show and yes. she will do anything for her kids including yes. Poison people or nearly kill oh, them. And well, <laughs> every once in a while, it happens. It happens. It happens. Now, it happens. you yourself have have kids. Are you? I that do. I, I don't. Over them? I don't poison <laughs> people. <laughs> <laughs> but I do. Um, but yes, absolutely. When I first started playing Kate, you know, she did have adult children. I think Philip was a baby. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He, he grew up overnight. Yeah. But um, <laughs> you know, my children were. I think five and seven when I started this show. But I mm-hmm. definitely use that, that that mother instinct, that mm-hmm. mother courage instinct, you know. Right. You have about family, and it's, it's all about that, you know. Mm-hmm. And for over the years, um, certainly her involvement with them has changed because she's yes. pretty much full-time into their lives yeah. <laughs> in the beginning. I mean, it was all about that. Yeah. But for me, um, I kind of segued into that she really believes in creating a dynasty mm-hmm. and an empire yeah, if you will yeah. um, with her children and for her children mm-hmm. you know and I really feel that's what drives her yeah, you know yeah. she wants to be the matriarch of the empire yes. she wants to be the godfather or yes. godmother I mean she yeah. really does yeah. and um, and she wants her kids all there as part of it now a lot of them have actually left the country because of that <laughs> but um, <laughs> she still holds out hope yeah yeah so very interesting relationships with the kids because it, it seems like you you have the best intentions for them. But, I totally. But yeah. they don't see that. They're like, they don't. stop butting in. Yeah, yeah well, I'm, <laughs> like, not, I'm not butting in. <laughs> yeah. The other thing used to bother me because people used to say, oh, she's always meddling. She's a meddling mother. Yeah. I thought, you know, if it was a man, if it right. was the father doing that, mm. we wouldn't put it that way. No. Yeah. You know, we'd really put, we'd see, oh yeah, he wants yeah. the best for them. Right, he's right. Protecting yeah. them. He's protecting them, or yeah. he's you know making it happen for them. And I feel like it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah. you know, for it's sure. really it really is the same thing. So that's the only thing that got a little testy about. <laughs> <laughs> The meddling word. Yeah, but it's it's so great to see such a a powerful woman mm-hmm. on the show, and I feel like Kate represents that so much. It's like you walk in, and it's like you just exude this like powerful woman, and I think that sends such a positive message out there. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah. yeah, you know, and we're, we've been 
on the light side about it. But actually, over the years, I've heard so many times from women, especially young women, mm -hmm. who it's it's not that they want to do the things that Kate's doing. Right, right. Because you know, it right. is a little over the top. Yeah. But it's just feeling that empowerment, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. feeling empowered, feeling okay that you may be different from other people, mm -hmm. that you may be one of the others, you right. know, to a degree for some people who feel like outsiders, you know, that it's, it's really not important. You know, yeah. you need to... F you know, follow your truth, your bliss, what you need to do, yeah, you know, and exactly. be okay with yourself. Because Kate's kind of okay with herself. Yeah, yeah. She, yeah you know? she definitely She's is. She's okay with herself. Definitely okay with She's herself. definitely a woman <laughs> that knows herself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now, I was going to say, um, one of my others' favorite on daytime was yeah. your daughter, Lisa Rinna. Oh yes. yes, my billies. You're see, do you the see billies. a trend with me? It's I the billies. Do. <laughs> the billies. <laughs> There's these constant connections with, with Mark and billies. I'm yeah. noticing. And uh, <laughs> so I was just going to ask you about working with Lisa. Right? Oh, it's great. I know there were several billies, but we she's the only billy to me. I, under I understand. <laughs> I totally understand. And um, yeah, it was great because I got the. Ch I'm trying to think. If it was three times or twice. She's you been back know. a couple times. Yeah. Yeah. I think she's yeah. been back three. Three. Like the three first times. time and then two other times. Two other yeah. times. Yeah. 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 And um, it was really interesting because our relationship grew from the first time. Because mm -hmm. the first time it was like new for me yeah. to have her there. Because mm -hmm. as, um, as, uh, Krista Allen had been my first. Right. Oh, first okay. Billy. Yeah. And then um, when Lisa came in, it was, it was like new because you have like a new child. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Um, and then this past time when she came back, it was really cool because we found a new place that they both are, you know, adult women. Mm -hmm. And we found, uh, you know, a connection for those characters because yeah. so much time so many times they had just been at odds yeah. and um, we really wanted to find another place for them because they yeah. are adults you know yeah. and it's yeah. like accepting and there was love and I, I love even though it was sad when she was leaving I loved our final scene because mm -hmm. it, was, it was kind of about that yeah. you know I love you but you know I can't be with you like she's yeah. another one who went to France yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know but she's she's a great woman she's yeah. just a great gal um, we had a lot of laughs yeah, yeah. 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 beautiful woman now a, another uh, part of days that everyone enjoyed was when Kate and Sammy finally oh, joined forces friends, yes. and uh, my favorite part of all was the photo that was yes, replaced the replacement. like the yeah. replacement of Stefano's photo that was like this and then all of a sudden it was like Kate and Sammy and I was like well look at them taking over <laughs> yeah, like, I loved it that's right <laughs> like oh. how was it for, for you like finally being able to join forces with Alice and Sweeney and work together and not like against each other it was fantastic yeah I mean we had been talking about it for years mm -hmm. even maybe a decade <laughs> <laughs> of how fabulous it would be if we ever got to team up yeah you know yeah. and there's yeah there's so much alike everyone knows that yeah, they kind of yeah. hate each other because yeah. they know that oh they're just like that yeah. so when it finally happened I mean we both were so grateful we're yeah. so so excited I mean it's one of my favorite storylines yeah. I mean yeah. hands down um, in terms of the photo we knew there was this photo <laughs> thing was coming up and I think originally they thought you know it'd be kind of Charlie's angel kind of were like yeah, you know, yeah, sitting yeah, there yeah. and we're like no <laughs> you know, this, is, this is a big moment oh, man yeah, they would yeah. love this they would want to own this you know yeah. we're yeah. thinking about the Vanity Fairs like the Annie Lebowitz kind of photos mm -hmm. we need a like a all out glamorous diva photo yeah. Yeah. you know so uh, Richard Bloor our costume designer was great you know he put together those outfits I mean I think I just I think my skirt was just kind of like fabric like yeah. <laughs> you know and it was really great um, it, it was so much fun just doing the shoot because I said that that's what I was thinking is like they probably had uh, the best blast. time oh. shooting that. we did you know and at the time we kind of knew it was going to come to end and yeah. everything yeah. so it yeah. just it was so it, it meant so much yeah. it, it really did yeah. yeah I'm just wondering where that photo is now <laughs> oh, I know well if painting, they brought painting. back the Demira mansion instead of just I a little know. closet it a study. for everybody to be I juicy know. <laughs> but I was very happy that the Brady pub is back this week but oh, we'll good. get to that next yeah, it is, yeah. It's, it, yeah. it's nice okay. to see a lot of these old sets coming yeah. back and I forgot before we go any further. Yes. I totally forgot and somebody um, texted me or tweeted me yesterday when I said you were going to be on the show and they said, Mark, don't forget what you said you would do if Lauren comes on. And I totally forgot that I, I would wear my blue your streak. Blue streak. <laughs> <laughs> I totally oh. forgot I would wear my clip-on blue streak. Thank you. While Lauren's here. Yes. So Lovely. now I got my blue streak. I'm the same size. 
<laughs> now, um, unfortunately, <laughs> I could not get a blue streak I in really, my hair. I feel at home now. I yeah, know, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 blue streak free right here. There's the blue yeah, streak. Come on. Well, I couldn't, I couldn't clip it in. I, I had, <laughs> Okay. Like, like, to your right. set. Well, you know, everything came so sudden. Like, Lauren was like, yes, I'm available. And I was like, oh my God, I didn't grow my hair out in time. Oh my God. And I was like, what? Do I tape it? Like, you, know. you had had more preparation. Exactly. I, okay, I feel like. Well, I'm glad that like she reminded nice, me because yeah, I yeah. totally forgot that I had it. I got it. I in a wig. <laughs> Lovely color, too. I know, right? Yeah. I know. No, it matched it, the outfit. It's yeah. like. <laughs> well, speaking of the, the, yes. the blue streak, like, yeah. that came about and it uh, became so popular. Like, what? I but I read uh, that, did I start but it? But I read that Joe didn't like it so much. Is that correct? Uh -oh. so true. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what did you do to your hair? <laughs> no, I he he really <laughs> <laughs> the black nails, the blue yeah. hair. Yeah. Um it, it was funny and I guess I have told this story. I, I love Joe. <laughs> um when I first did it, I kinda kept it hidden. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it's like this and it would be like a little flash. You get a flash every once in a while. <laughs> and um, no one really noticed it, you know. Yeah, yeah. And I had my hair up for a scene with Joe. Yeah. And um, I came on on set. <laughs> and, he's, and our executive producer at the time um, was on stage, you know. He's, <laughs> and, uh, and Joe's like, oh, they're going to see that now. They're going to see your hair. And he says, look at this, look at this. <laughs> and the executive producer came over. He said, can you see her hair? Tell her. And he's like, oh. He said, we should probably put a line in about that. <laughs> <laughs> it stays Thank in. You. <laughs> Thank you. It was really, it was no, really I loved it. I, and it was funny because the first couple of times I was like, is it my TV or it's her hair blue? <laughs> like I couldn't figure out at first. I'm like, I think her hair's blue. Yeah. So. yeah. Yeah. I put it in during that period when Kate was going through a hard time. You know, yeah. just well, like poisoning brownies, mixing yeah. apples, all of that, you know. And it, it, uh, it was... She was kind of a little cray cray. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I think she actually was. I think she was having a type of psychotic breakdown. That's uh -huh. how I justify it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so it kind of represented, you know, that. The wild side. The wild side. Well, it has definitely. It represents off. my wild side for yes. shizzle. Yes. yes. <laughs> and my wild Although side. Although I have little curls in my You did have curls. That's I, not I don't very know about the curls. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to work if on that. If you saw the whole wig and with it looks it, it, it looks, looks good. Great. It, it, look, it looks good hair. with the rest of it. Yeah. Well, now I just feel like, you know, the little engine that couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> If I have some dark blue, like yeah. like I like we could do like little like, like oh maybe that's what, I should have just got spray and just, just went, a spray. You should have done a just blue the spray. streak. Yeah, <sighs> yeah. See, I don't know. I'm kind of I'm a little disappointed because you did have almost 24 hours. I know, I know. <laughs> but it was like there was so much happening in that 24 hours. Yeah. It was like I got the tw the Not direct message. Sleep. Yeah, and I was like, oh <laughs> my god, I got I got to prepare and I got to oh my gosh, like yeah. she's coming in. What do I do? Oh, oh so last minute. Well, that's why I was glad that that person tweeted me because I was like, oh my god, my husband's like. I pulled this wig out. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Wig and I was like, I was like, I forgot. I need this. Uh, Lauren's gonna be our guest. She's gonna. He was like looking at me. I'm like, forget it. I'm gonna explain it to you. Yeah, well, makes sense to me. Speaking of like trends and fashion and stuff, Kate is very fashionable on the show. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like every time Kate loves fashion. Yeah, yeah. Well, and you studied fashion. Lauren, you studied yeah. Lauren loves fashion. Costume. Yes, I was a. I started yeah. out as yeah. a costume designer. Yeah. yeah. So did you have influence on like? Kate's like attire and how she dresses and her style on the show, or did that just kind well, of come about? That from definitely, ev you know, evolved over time. You know, we have a wonderful costume designer, mm. Richard Bloor, who who totally um, indulges <laughs> <all> my <laughs> fantasies. <laughs> I mean, he's really great. Yeah. And um, you know, when I first came on the show, I was like kind of a mate. I think she was a little more conservative yes, when I first came much, on the show. Yeah. Was, Deborah Dare was definitely more conservative. Yeah, yeah it was more yeah. conservative. So, you know, slowly my little bit of creep <laughs> came creeping Which in. Which we like. Yeah. Which we like. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we, we would, Rich and I would joke about it. I could. I think he could see early on that I was maybe going in another direction. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and so he would start tempting me. I mean, we had such a huge, <laughs> we had a huge uh, budget for wardrobe back then. Yeah. And he would bring in some great stuff. I mean, it was just like, oh, can I just wear all of it? Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, it was fantastic. And I think that's when we really established her, yeah. you know, her clothes. I mean, she loves couture. I mean, she's just like, yeah. you know. And um, and now, you know, we our, we, <laughs> our budget is lower. You know, yeah. and he does an amazing job because he has to, like, get out there and really, really you yeah. know, look and find stuff. And Kate also has an enormous wardrobe. I kind of... 
you know, I was a pain in the ass. I can't <laughs> on, like keeping everything. You know, I don't want. Don't get rid of it. Don't get. So what we'll do is we'll go down to Kay's closet, just like you know ah, every human nice. being would do. You yeah. know, and we'll pick out stuff from over the years. You know, now I can use this, and I can update it with that. Yeah. And, you oh, know, that's so great. it's really fun. yeah. That's oh, nice. great. I like that. I like hearing that. that yeah. yeah nice. It like, shouldn't be news clothes I, every day. And I and no. I, used to, I say that about just regular TV shows all the time, like Friends and stuff. It's mm-hmm. like. You're living. I mean, none of them really had that great of jobs. Yet they had a new outfit every time. That's yeah. what I liked about the Golden Girls. <laughs> they were Rose the always club. wore the same sweaters. Mm-hmm. They always wore the same we robes. Do. At People know things and like and that. And I, well, I do. I don't know about everybody else, but well, um, no, trust me, but do. I love that, <laughs> you know, that you do that because that yeah. makes me happy. Yeah, yeah, I think it's re- I think it's really good good way to do it. And plus, it's fun. And yeah. plus, there's just, we have an amazing. I have an amazing amount of clothes and yeah. gorgeous stuff. Some of it's right. vintage now. I've been on <laughs> so long, but. You know, that's okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So, and people will notice, like, when I'm re wearing a piece or a mm-hmm. whole outfit or whatever. But the, what yeah. if uh, Allison Sweeney wants to borrow something? Would you say yes or no? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to Allie, I would say yes to Sammy, no. No, there you go. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, that's perfect. Well, did you ever imagine that you would be on the show for, for this long? Like, walking in on that first day, did you ever think that? No. I mean, no. I I don't, you don't even think in those terms, yeah. you know. And most of your gigs are, I mean, are pretty short-lived. I mean, yeah. for um, daytime, you know, dramas, it's a little different because obviously they go on. Yeah, they go years. on and on. Yeah. But, you know, the things that I had done were much shorter. You know, are you yeah. doing an episodic or, you know, guest star here and there. So yeah. I just never thought in those terms, never, yeah, you know. Yeah. And then when you f- hit your 10-year mark, right. it's like, Wow, <laughs> that's amazing! And then after that, I mean, I think you're just working, and you're not really thinking about mm-hmm, it, yeah. you know. But when I look back, or when I mention this to people, they're always, "What?" Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah, but it's, that's what's so cool about what we do too. That's another cool thing is that it is like a a regular job. It's yeah. a real job, you know, yeah. that has some longevity, and that's a gift for an actor. For sure. Oh yeah, yeah for sure. Because yeah. I mean, Kate has been through so much in the past. Years that that you <laughs> that you <laughs> like what what has been your your favorite storyline of Kate's? I know that there, there's been so many, um, but like, is yeah. there one that really sticks out for you? That's like, man, that was a fun time for for you yourself. Yeah, you know, there've been a lot, certainly this one with Sammy and Kate was yeah. a huge one because it was the culmination of yeah. Of, yeah. of so much story. Um, and it's funny that you, when asking that question because over the years it kind of changes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like and now it. in retrospect, I mean, looking back, I think the story that kind of resonated the most overall with everything was when she the huge blow up with Victor when he kicks her out of the house. Oh, and this yeah. huge, you know, she burns down the mansion. <laughs> Lucas is burned. Oops, my son's in there. Oops, I, was, I didn't know. That's true. I didn't that's know. true. I will testify. You know, it's know. really true. You know, and she she ends up with nothing. Yeah. You know, she's living out of her car. Mm-hmm. She's dumpster diving. Yeah. I mean, and then she got the job as a waiter. Yeah. You know, and I remember a little bit because some of the haters that were saying, um, oh, yeah, she'll never survive that. Oh, yeah. You know, She's out of there. And yeah. it was like, I loved it that they wrote that, okay, that's fine. Yeah. I'm a waiter now. Yeah. I can, I can yeah. handle that. You know, and that's Kate. Whatever. I'm just yeah. going to deal with it. Because who knows what, I, I don't know what she came from. I have my ideas. Yeah. But, you know, she could, so that turned into a favorite story. And then, like, her involvement with Roman, mm-hmm. you know, this cowboy kind of the guy yeah. comes into her life you know and he's such a good guy and she's such a bad girl yeah you know and how that all works so i think in some ways that's one of my favorites yeah yeah and lots of leading men that yeah Kate has, has i actually wrote down men. all your last names oh what you are did, they <sighs> Really? Well, there weren't that many. There weren't as many as I thought. I was like, well, maybe it's just the she, same people over and over again yeah. is the problem. Because she didn't really get married. <laughs> right, so exactly. Her name didn't really change. Uh, but I didn't remember her. Do, do you remember her her first, her original name, like her when she first came on? Was it? No. Wait. Not? It wasn't Reed. No. What was it? Winograd? Winograd. I read really? That. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know that. Yeah. And then Brown, because you married Curtis Brown, right? It wasn't Curtis. No, Curtis, oh, no, Curtis Reed. Reed. Curtis but there was Reed. a Brown. Yeah. Oh, I guess Reed then too. Well, were you married to Reed? Yeah. So I guess I missed Reed. I was yeah. thinking Brown was Reed. So it was Kate Reed. It really was Kate Reed. I always think of just Curtis, and I don't think of that. See, I don't know. No, Reed Roberts. Were. I thought. He was and then Curtis. Roberts, and then where did Kiriakis. Roberts? Wait, wait, where did Roberts come from? Well, from what I read, um, the character Kate. Changed it to Roberts to yeah. hide Reed. The, the fact that oh is it Reed or that she was a prostitute? Excuse me. 
a working me. professional. <laughs> working professional. <laughs> we like to call ourselves call girls. Call girls. I'm sorry. You call me a girl will come. <laughs> I think that's I. I think reading up on, on the character, of Kate, I think that's why, or maybe it was for that, Curtis. I, I can't remember. I don't. I, but I don't. I remember. don't remember the Winograd at all. Winograd. Where did Winograd? And that's, is that her real name? That's the original I want, one. Yeah, I, I think want that's a her history. Original. Yeah. I feel like there's like an incredible. Well, I had history. to do the. I need some backstory. They have like right. those about things about all the characters, really? and, I, and yeah. actually, I'd forgotten that you were a waitress too. And I saw that on your job, the list of jobs. Like, yeah. Oh, that's right. She was a waitress. Are they just so, in it so I have to go back and finish. Winograd. Yeah, they didn't have Reed on there, and I added Brady because you did marry. I did. Rome, I did right? marry. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. I was a Brady. And then Demary and Kyriakis. And then I did marry. Yeah, so I've been married three times. Yeah, that's not bad. So I guess Reed is the only one I missed in there. Let me read. Yeah, because I. Yeah, I think yeah, she came I think in. It said it, Where did I, I come from? I probably even pull that up. I, do you think I'm a princess? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. yes, you are. Well, <laughs> it says. Uh, well, I'm, I'm looking at Wikipedia. I don't know how how true Wikipedia can be, but like they well, said, we can change it, right? Right. right exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you want it to be? But they, <laughs> princess. <laughs> they said when uh, when the character was first introduced back in 1977 when Elaine Parisi, I think that's how you pronounce her name, played the role, it was Kate Winogrand. Se- really? 77? Yeah. Yeah. I just, I never knew this. You never knew I'm that? I'm so glad. Oh, yeah, I get the After Buzz TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, um, and then um, she, the character was reintroduced in 1993 Three. with Deborah Dare. With, okay. That's and then, um, and then in 96 is when you came along. So mm-hmm. when she had the affair with Bill Horton, mm-hmm. she would have been the Wintergrad. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. I think so. So let's, oh. I'm, I'm scrolling through. Yep. There's that affair. And so that's where. Lucas is a Winograd. Winograd. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let you tell them. We'll let you tell them. I'm really excited about this. Now you have something to tell oh, them at work tomorrow. <laughs> That's true. I feel like I, I can't I can't remember where I saw where she changed it to, to Roberts and I But that was, uh, I kind of remember that that maybe yeah. that she did change it. Like, Says she was a doctor? Remember. What? Yeah, she came in as a Someone doctor. Someone just said she was a doctor? She was Dr. Kate Winogrand. And I'm and a doctor? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You worked, at, you worked at Salem U, uh, at Salem University. Who would have known? Yeah. <laughs> so Dr. Dan and I had more in common than just... Yeah. Yeah. Than you knew. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Wow. Um, to the developers. That's all Is Dr. That really Dan had true? really in common with that. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> he just went hop from bed to bed he around did. Salem. He did. Ta- I'm a doctor. Right, say, yeah. I think people assume Kate Winograd and Kate Roberts were the same character because Kate Winograd had an affair with Bill Horton in the 70s, but Kate was a doctor. Oh, so maybe that so maybe, is, it's, maybe a, it's a different. But it did list Winograd when I pulled up Kate Roberts. I would on like. The I would like thing. to. Have- to be a doctor, yeah, I'd right? like to have that in my bag of tricks. So you need yeah. to go back and tell the writers, like, hey, I, I go was back. a writer. Let's like Kate Winograd. get this going. <laughs> oh yeah, make they, this happen. They had all the names over here too: Winograd, Brown, Kiriakis, See? Brady, Demera. Yeah, yeah, yep. Wow. But no read. So maybe she history wasn't brought to you by AfterBuzz TV. <laughs> I know, this we need is James. We need candidate. James Lott Jr. for this. He's our history buff. James Lott Jr. Shout out to James Lott Hi, Jr. James. who will be hey, watching James. later. Um, he's our other co-host for Edition oh. Days, and he's like our days historian. So oh. like he he knows how people are related. He knows like storylines from before even when we Creepy started shit, watching. But I'm yeah. like, how do you know this? Yeah. Wow, like, yeah. I need yeah. to talk to him. Yeah. Because you know, when you have a lot of storylines, you forget them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why I always do that. There, They have that about the characters on one yeah. of these websites. So I, every time we have somebody, I'm like, I need a refresher course because oh, I don't I'm remember sure. everything. Yeah. I kind of like what's happening in the now. Yeah. <laughs> Other I, than my Billy Reed. I, well, of course. Aww. Or Billy Flynn. Um, or Billy Flynn. No. <laughs> Hi, Billy. <laughs> That's when Billy and I always talk about that. I really think that Kate is his mother. Yeah. Of course, no one else thinks that. Yeah. We, we think that wouldn't that be cool? That would be so cool. It would be kind of cool. Just, I would go It'd be kind of cool. With Mad- Madeline, the whole mother yeah. thing, and that something was going on. I, I have, I don't, I even think I have a thing for your child. I know <laughs> that's, I that's what I'm saying. Well, I have to tell you my Lucas story. This is proof. When, <laughs> yeah, this is proof. <laughs> when he, when he first came on, I had a little crush on Lucas. Oh, everyone he, has a little crush and on Lucas. I had just moved to LA, and one of my best friends who also watches Days. He's like, he for some reason because he does this stuff, and I don't pay attention to any of it. He's like. Brian Tatilla is going to be at Macy's signing stuff. And I was like, and I was like, no way. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. But I was too scared to go up to 
So I literally just walked around Macy's pretending I was shopping. Like I kept, like I'm like he's gonna call the police on me because I'm just walking around staring at him from afar. I think I even took a picture like from far away. And yeah, I was. Oh, that's crushed. a that's a crush. Oh, well, Brian Nutella is one of the like coolest oh, guys. Oh man, that you'll he's meet. he's fantastic. I love yeah. my Brian. Yeah. I love my Brian. No, he's great. He's yeah. a great I'm guy. Dig all your he, kids. He, he, <laughs> I'm noticing that. <laughs> and uh, Jay saying, Johnson, Chad. too. He was a... Uh... Jay. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh, Jay. <laughs> no. I love Jay. We're both Pisces. So ah. We had a lot in common. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, which... Because, uh, I mean, with all the men that, that Kate has been with... <laughs> <laughs> Which he says that in the nicest way possible. That was really nice, yes. I say, I say in the, the sweetest I've way been possible. With. Yes. yes. Um, which one for you, which pairing for Someone you else was just the, asked the most the enjoyable? Too. Yeah, like, because I think for me, it was, I, I don't know, I love you and Victor I together. It's something Victor. about that. Nothing that completes pairing, me. Yeah, it's, it, really? it was really oh my good. God. Yeah. I just, every day I pray that they get back. <laughs> it's really, you know, it's so funny you're saying that. <laughs> because that wouldn't normally have been my answer, but mm -hmm. as I'm saying, you're yeah. kind of looking back, yeah. Yeah. that was a really great relationship, yeah. Yeah. really dynamic. And even after they were no longer together, I would love the scenes that we yes. have together. Because mm -hmm. you're going off yes. there, and I swear to God, we should both have cigars. <laughs> yes. And just be there yes. and talking. I mean, it was. Uh, there, there's just a connection between those two. Yeah, you know, and I feel like she loses none of her. The rest are always like trying to take away her power mm -hmm. and all that. And he's not, you yeah. know, not that he doesn't go up against her. Yeah. Right. But you know, they're just they're equals, and it's mm -hmm. you know, I I love their scenes. They're always well yeah. written. The so the witty. The only other one that I was like, I really was kind of hoping for was Ian. I when oh, he I came know. on, I was I like, yes, finally someone great for Kate. I know. Like, I was so happy, I and know. then that kind of went. Pfft. I love that too. I really loved him, and I thought you guys together was fantastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, he's so elegant, and yes. I think that was. And there was the hints of this whole mystery, yeah. this like mm -hmm. life they had in Europe, because they were mm -hmm. talking about Lucas, yes. and that you know he taught Lucas how to ski and all mm -hmm. of this stuff. And yeah. I thought, oh my God, is he Lucas's father? Because <laughs> you, you never know. You never know. One phone call. Phone call. One phone call changes. Yeah, <laughs> so I really thought that, you know, I know. I, yeah, I, yeah. And Ian Buchanan, oh my God, he's yeah. such a joy to work with. He, yeah. He's just so great, so funny. Yeah. He's so elegant, though. I just yeah, yeah, I love that. Yeah. 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 Now, of course, Days wasn't your first uh, intro to daytime. You were also on Young and the Restless and Bold and the Beautiful. Yes. Um, how did those roles differ from Kate? Because... You played Lindsay on on Young and the Restless, Young and, the Lessers, yeah. and, Mar and Margo on uh, Bold and the Beautiful, which you originated the role of Margo. I did, um, and Lindsay. Yeah, and so how was how was that uh, compared to coming on and playing Kate? So long. <laughs> so long. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, well, Lindsay was amazing because yeah. that was my first role. Yeah. So when mm -hmm. I first came out here, and it was like crazy, you know, getting it. I was Ed Scott actually attended <laughs> um, an acting class that I was in at the time, you mm -hmm. know, fresh into LA. Yeah. And uh, he asked me to come in to audition for a role, and everyone's saying, "Oh, this is never gonna happen." I mean, oh, what are you talking about? You know. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and I went in, and it, it was. I mean, it's just like first time for everything for that mm -hmm. kind of an audition. There was mm -hmm. all these people, and it was. Like, and I, you know, I got it, and I just, uh, it was amazing, and getting to work with Terry Lester, mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys remember Terry Lester, Jack Abbott, yeah. Was, oh, yeah. was an incredible actor, yeah. such a great actor, it was such a gift to work with someone like him, yeah. I mean, he, I think, really originated that bad boy, yeah. Yeah. you know, and just his whole style of acting was, uh, was was fantastic and um, it was a great storyline. Yeah, you know, that was yeah. a crazy. I got plunked into the middle with all those people. So um, I did that for like two and a half years, and then Lindsay excused herself one day and went to the restroom and never came back. <laughs> really? <laughs> she That's did. So funny. Yeah, yeah. When she well, gave an opening for you to return. They have a <laughs> <opening. laughs> Well, you know, she was blackmailing. She had photos. Yeah. She was blackmailing, uh -huh. and once she gave up those photos. 
It was that like, was it. Uh, wow. Went to the ladies' room, never came back. Wow. So, I, love, I, mean, <laughs> I love how soaps did that. Like, you know, the kids would go upstairs, and then, yeah. they, wouldn't come, and then they would come down, down like 10 years old. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that happened to Philip. He yeah. did. He was yeah. five. He went upstairs, came back, and he's like, oh, you're a man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it is cool. So then, you know, they the Bells created Bold and Beautiful, mm -hmm. and, um, um, you know, they asked me to do the role of, of Margot. And, I mean, that was an incredible experience because it's an off, you know, you're starting off a yeah. show. Yeah. It was really a unique, unique experience, yeah. and um, I loved it. The show was based around fashion, you mm -hmm. know, and mm -hmm. I'm playing a fashion designer, and I was a costume designer, so it was, you know, right yeah. in my wheelhouse. It was, yeah. it was great, and that show became so huge internationally that we got to take all kinds of fabulous trips nice. all over the world. Oh, yes. Yeah, that was that was really great. I mean, it was really unique. I mean, and I owe the Bells a lot. I mean, they really gave me my start, you yeah. know, so they'll forever be special to me for that. And there was a time where um, you went back to Bold and the Beautiful I, to reprise the role. I did. I remember that being kind of like a huge, like, oh, because you were with Days, but they, like, switched you out. They switched out. So I, I, I guess it. they would offer that they would switch me out, and then at the time, Joe Muscolo mm -hmm. was working at B&B, &B, and that he could switch over as, you know, they could borrow him for Stefano. Yeah, yeah, okay. to. So it was pretty unique. It was, yeah. it was really, you know, it was pretty cool that they did that and allowed me to, to do it. And I went back because... My son Mark mm -hmm. <laughs> was suddenly an adult <laughs> and was coming back to his town. So yeah. um, they brought Margot back. But it was interesting too because while I was on that show, um, I got pregnant twice, <laughs> and I did have two kids. And one they wrote in, and one the first time, no, let's see, the no, second time they didn't write in, but the first mm -hmm. time they did, and that oh, wow. ended up being baby Mark. Yeah. Okay. And my son actually did play my baby <laughs> on the show. Oh, yeah, it, it was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Do you, did you have any? Uh, interesting fan moments uh, because since you've been on daytime or part of daytime for a while like do you have any interesting fan encounters that what do you mean <laughs> well I was very well behaved when she arrived I'll say you that <laughs> well, you know, the, so I was containing myself <laughs> we, we've had uh, previous people on the show and, and they've had fans come up and it's always doing like that one storyline where they're like I can't believe you're doing this yeah. and blah 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 and you there's a moment for you probably or for you guys where you're like wait a minute wait what's happening and it's like oh they think I'm yeah that okay. character did you ever have like no I mean that I actually moment? No. Oh, good. Because <laughs> I, 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 fear, I fear for you because like, some, right? <laughs> some people may come up to Kate and be like, and may No, like, they, they don't. Because, okay, you know, good. Kate's pretty intimidating. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it, it's usually the opposite. I have to say, no, actually, you can talk. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, um, not that person. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, we could have a good conversation together. Yeah. But, I, you know, I haven't had those kind of experience. I mean, only like that one time at the fan fan. Yeah. The person definitely didn't like me. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, you know, and every once in a while, you know, you can yeah. tell. Like, yeah. there's a group of people and everyone's talking to you about Kate and then there's one person standing back there like, <laughs> you know that's the one that's probably like you right. but that's cool yeah. you know you don't have to like my character you know and there's a lot of people who love to hate me mm -hmm. you know and that's another thing and I'm sure there's outright haters but you know even you've been doing it as long as I am. It's yeah. Like, whatever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, if you're watching, that's cool. For, yeah. You know, whatever reason. And, um, you know, my experiences have been all pretty good. Real you know, good. pretty good. You know, um, yeah. Yeah, I, I have to say that. Because there have been some doozies, I tell you. Well, I was going to, as it kind of, I guess, in that wheelhouse of the of evil, evilness in Salem, <laughs> uh, Miss Vivian Alamein. Oh, oh yeah, yes. Louise with, Sorrell. Yes, yes, who I also adore. Oh, me too. Um, so I was just going to ask you, like, working with her, and how was? At least you didn't get buried alive. <laughs> at <laughs> least, I, yeah, that was. That was uh, yeah. So that's good. So yeah, you're another doing actress right. suffered that. That's true. Yeah. I mean, she did take your child. I know, but she did. Yeah. She did. <laughs> she did, and she implanted it yes. into her womb. Oh my god. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. Oh, I love it's these crazy. conversations. But then again, if she hadn't caused that plane to crash, I would never, you know, then, then the first Kate, you yeah. know, ended up in the ocean. Yeah, right. Exactly. So I got to come back. Um, it, it was great working with her. You she know, she seems take, like the oh, She is a huge, she's such a gracious lady, and she um, she has so many always creative ideas about things, and um, we had so many <laughs> 
<laughs> it's an incredible cat place. <laughs> I mean, I just remember that because I we, we didn't do that at Bold and Beautiful very right, often, you know. Right. But on you know Days of Our Lives, that was the thing, man. Yeah. You know, you get down the there on the fights. ground. Yeah. And you First time I saw stunt people, I thought, what? What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> get these stunt people, you know. But I mean, it was crazy. Yeah. And I, I think like the first thing I think I I threw a pot of stew over her head uh, or something. Okay, I yeah. mean, her milk. I don't know. They were, it was a bunch of crazy stuff. And I and Louise wasn't a real fan of that. So right, right. I, yeah, I, I, she, I could see that. Yeah, she wasn't a fan of it. So it was always kind of fun because you know, really having to talk about it yeah. and how we could make this crazy thing happen and yeah. still be in reality, you know. But uh, we had great times together. Some really, really great stories. Yeah, I yeah. just that whole. I think that that was probably my favorite. Hate time was yeah. with that, was, that whole thing yeah. with her, with mm-hmm. Philip, with Vic, it with just, Philip. Like, yeah, it was intense, just, yeah, man. It was it was, a, it was really on. really intense. And then she came back, and mm-hmm. and we did a. In fact, we had a, when she came back, there was a cat fight, yeah. and you know, I remember cake. I think we got thrown into a cake and oh. smeared <laughs> cake all over his cake all over me, and you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. You gotta what? love a good cat yeah. fight on days. I, yeah, I love those moments when, like, there's like a a standoff, and then it's like, you bitch, and it's like, whoosh, and it's like, whoa, whoa. oh my god. <laughs> I know, I know. You know, in some of those slaps or pulled or like stage slaps yeah. and others aren't yeah you know and there's one <laughs> have there been some real slaps that oh yeah Uh-oh. oh yeah there's one that Ali and I because <laughs> we've had a lot of slaps yeah oh yeah, oh, yeah. punches yeah. slaps and um, we were running really late to the, you know on the day and they were really behind and we were having rush rush and we're going straight to tape that means no rehearsal folks yeah. wow. no rehearsal yeah. and I said like, we're going to have to slap and slapping usually takes a little bit yeah, the yeah. Burn, yeah. where you can yeah. and I said you're just going to have to slap me I'm like, oh man, I don't want to slap me. You just slap me. You just have to slap me. And I'm like, I don't want you. She's like, really? And then I'm like, really? <laughs> <laughs> you don't think I won't slap you? I'm going to slap you. <laughs> <laughs> so we did. It was like, Burr. and I think you can always kind of tell, yeah, because the other person's are, like, oh. <laughs> you know, can't but, fake um, that reaction, right? No, I know. Although I'm kind of used to it, because in stage, I mean, sometimes some people would have like funny slaps, but I was used to doing real slaps. So, yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at this time, we're going to take your questions live. For those of you who are watching, you guys have been anxiously waiting to talk to the very lovely and beautiful Lauren Coslow, and I don't want to take that away from you. So you can call us right now at 424-253-0749. Again, that's 424-253-0749. And um, ask your question, give a comment, make sure you are nice. That is always the rule here. You have to be nice. Uh, no, we I haven't had anybody not I, be I nice. I said so. everyone was. Yeah. Yeah. You, don't make me a liar. Uh, Will, is this Willa tequila wants me in to here? Oh, motion. No. Willa is one of our fans. <laughs> oh, yeah. Willa has been and watching she's Days been for watching about 50 years now. She's been watching since the very now. first episode. Yeah. Oh, really? Who is yeah. this? Willa. Uh, Willa. She's in the chat Willa. room. Willa oh. Sargent. Oh, yes. fantastic. Yeah. So she wanted me to make sure I, I yes. let you know that she's been watching. She's been watching since the beginning. Since the beginning of The Sands and the Hour. Yes. Fantastic. Yes. I said I was trying to remember back. I, I, I feel like the bow, like when Bo took hope, like when she was going to get married and rode off with the motorcycle. I think that's about when I started watching. Okay. Because mm-hmm. um, I was watching Santa Barbara. Thank you, A. Martinez. We're going to get into that because <laughs> oh, I'm having we, a panic attack already. That? Oh my gosh. Oh, I know. <sighs> that man completes me. <laughs> I know. And he got my quote of the week last week just for saying his name. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, I know. He's such a good. Okay, I'm gonna uh, check. Hashtag Longmire. Have you been watching him on Longmire? I, I'm going to now. Oh, I didn't. What kind I didn't, of fan are you? I know. I know. <laughs> are you kidding? Well, I, binge, said, I binge watched. Because I made a comment about this, and uh, somebody in the chat was like, "He has to keep it for the show." Yeah. yeah. I was like, "Oh, I didn't even know." So oh, wait till you see him on the show. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm pimping. Yeah, I'm so. pimping the show. <laughs> and we we noticed a little thing between yeah. Kate and uh, I know. Uh, looky looky. And Eddie. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all it took was just a raise of the glass. That's like, all I it see took. You over there. Kate's got it. I know. I know. Such a good actor. Well, we He's have a, a caller now. Caller, uh, you are now live with us on AfterBuzz TV Spotlight On. What's your name and where are you calling from? Um, hi, it's Carolyn Topol. Oh, I'm hi, Carolyn. Connecticut. Hey, Carolyn, how are you? I had the pleasure of meeting Carolyn uh, this past weekend for a Boston event. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, she was lovely. You were lovely, Carolyn. Oh, 
Oh, thank you. You're lovely too, Tony. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, you're on live with, with Lauren. Do you have a question or a comment for her? Um, yeah, I have a couple. First of all, Lauren, I've been watching Days over 35 years, and I thought you were a wonderful addition when you came on and took the role of Kate. Thank you. It was it was Unlike seamless some people. in my opinion. <laughs> I know. I liked it. I liked it. I liked it. I liked it. <laughs> it was the first ten minutes. So. Right. <laughs> it was it was touch and go. But I, I, it was okay. More handsy. <laughs> no, I'm not handsy. They're here. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, and my question is, um, what was your least um, favorite storyline that you like you saw the storyline you were like this is so not a Kate storyline <laughs> was there something that you ever rendered like that it was going to work for you and it, it I mean I think all your storylines have ultimately worked for you but was there one that you sort of thought was kind of bizarre are you trying to get me in trouble I was just going to say <laughs> she's not going to answer that girl <laughs> that's a hard one well I think it's it's exactly how you put it yeah. that even some that I might have had questions about they worked out in the end. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I'm left with fond memories. Yeah. I mean, you know, just generally, <laughs> very generally, <laughs> there's a, okay. you know, sometimes, you know, you do read things and you think, oh, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. You know, really? Would Kate do that? Yeah. You know, so, but it's my job to find a way <laughs> for Kate to do that. Yeah. You know, and, mm -hmm. and so, you know, I have favorite, sto you know, stories. I have some that are less that I wasn't happy with. You mm -hmm. know, normally, it's when Kate isn't uh, in the full control, you know. Mm -hmm. There is sometimes that I okay. just, you know, those are the ones that kind of bother me. You know, Someone just said, it's please like, say the Clyde Weston debacle. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, well, I, I was, I was going to say Kate and Clyde Weston, that she didn't see him as clearly as she did pretty soon really surprised me. No, yeah. she didn't. No, she didn't. And, you know, and then that's something I'm wondering... Uh, would she? But you have to remember, you're seeing the whole picture. Right. She's not. Exactly. Yeah. She doesn't know what happened okay. yeah. with the kids, you know. Yeah. So yeah. sometimes that's hard because as an audience member, you know, you have all the clues, you know. Mm -hmm. She didn't. I mean, she liked him. You know, she's been through so much. And after all that stuff with Rafe and everything, I think oh, this yeah. was just like a diversion. Mm -hmm. She liked that he seemed to have this hunger, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Not just for her, yeah. but, um, you know. <laughs> he, he, he was ambitious, mm -hmm. and I really felt like she was thinking she could use that. Yeah. You know, yeah. she could use him. Okay. And he obviously had some money. He had connections. You know, he went to her. So he knew about it. I think there's a lot of stuff that happened off camera that we tried to infer. Mm -hmm. You know, she was giving him help with, you know, with her Demira connections. And uh, she was helping him with stuff. So I think there was a lot more there. I think it is unfortunate for him. Yeah, you know, because James Reed is such a wonderful Amazing. actor. I right. loved yeah. working with him. I yeah. think he could have been terrific, but with the whole abuse of the daughter, just made him. Yeah. It just it was hard to come back from that. Yeah. And you know, I really yeah. wished you know. So that's not that part is in my storyline, but I, I really wish that hadn't happened. I don't think that was necessary, yeah. Yeah, you know, at all. And I kept on mm -hmm. thinking it was going to turn out to be his henchman that yeah. did it mm -hmm. and that she remembered it incorrectly and that he's protected or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that just kind of killed it and gave everyone kind of a, you know, yeah. bad taste. Yeah. Yeah. Bad, yeah. 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 And and I just have to say, I wanted to thank you because you added humor to a storyline that could have gone really south, in my opinion. Oh, thank but you. when when Kate and Sammy and Gabby killed Nick the first oh, time. Yeah. I, I, I used to get such a giggle out of everything Kate would throw into that. Oh, you my were, God. The timing was priceless. It was hilarious. Thank you. Time, but Thank I just you. loved it. Well, you know, you're asking my favorite storyline. Yeah. That's is definitely like the favorite group of scenes, yeah. scripts. Yeah. It was it's so much fun. And they built that incredible set for yeah. us just yeah, for that with the river. Yeah. Oh, man, we all love that. <laughs> we love the hell out Blake of that. Blake may not have yeah. liked it so much. Blake, <laughs> you know, Blake is so professional. I think Blake did did love it. Yeah, exactly. didn't care because that was some dead weight we were carrying. He was just like totally into it. But thank you. Yeah, I love doing those scenes. Awesome. Thank you, Carolyn. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Yes, and thank you for calling oh. in and uh, make sure you keep watching us on Audition Days every Sunday at 4 p.m.
Pacific Standard Time. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. I remember those those scenes uh, as well, and I remember thinking with Gabby, this was all new for her. Yeah. Like, and, yeah. and you and, and she's you the one who got put in jail. Yeah. And, I know. And for you guys, it. it was just kind of like, listen, we've been there, done that. Like, girl, yeah. you gotta chill. Yeah. Gotta get it together. I know. <laughs> it was together. so great. I mean, there's sometimes when they just get the essence of characters, and they did with those yeah. scripts. That was Kate and Sammy, and it's so totally. true. Once we saw that, like, we're been there, done that. Yeah, we can yeah, handle all that, you know. Sure. We're, it was like we're we can take handle, it. we can keep a secret. Yeah. Like you are losing it. Like keep mm-hmm. calm, keep calm. Yeah, and I love it when they when they keep that in the script. So yeah, that's yeah. who these women are, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, we have another caller. Uh, welcome to After Buzz TV Spotlight on with uh, Lauren Coslow. You are on live. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Emma. I'm calling from International Falls, Minnesota. Hello, Emma. How are you? Good, how are you guys? Doing Good. great. Good. Do, you, do you have a question or comment for Lauren? Yeah, such a huge fan of yours, Lauren. I loved your work with James Reed. Thank you. Um, and as Clyde. It was I was so glad though when you uh finally wised up to his character. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. It was hard for me because I really liked him so much. <laughs> <laughs> I, know. I did. I didn't want him to go, but I did like that your character I know. Kind of yes. It out. Yeah, that she um, did. But my yeah. question is Sorry. No, no, I agree with you. Yes. <laughs> um, my question is: Were there any actors or characters that you really would have liked to work with as Kate on the show that didn't really get explored much? Um. Because there's so many that you have worked with, <laughs> right? right? <laughs> so In one many. way or another. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I always wanted to work with with Teo, Teo Penguins, mm. You know. Yeah. And, and a little bit, she worked. With Tony and Andre. I mean, but I, I always thought, you know, he, his character intrigued me. I didn't mm-hmm. really get to work with him yeah. um, very much. Um, maybe in the future. Maybe in the future. Crossing fingers. Crossing fingers. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I mean, I, yeah, geez. I, I'm not trying to think about it. You know, like right now, like we have A. Martinez mm-hmm. coming in. You know, I'm really hoping that <laughs> she has to work with him. Uh, <laughs> um... Oh, jeez. You know, I really I, I enjoyed this stuff when Drake and I got to work together. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that was good. That was kind of a surprise, yeah. you know. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, what about you guys? Can you think of anyone? Am I, have I been to oh. with way too many? Yeah. So you, you, Who would have been? Jeez. I'm just trying to think of somebody that you have oh, spent much time with. I know. Matt Ashford. Yeah. Uh, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. Oh, now you're dead. That's that's another one that, oh, that he I'm likes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag bring Jack back. Bring Jack back. Well, I would have liked to. He's a, he's another like really I'm good still actor. Keeping my fingers he's crossed. Got he's got crashed in an elevator. Okay, here's my thing. But maybe there hear was me, an escape hatch. Hear yes. me out. We never saw that happen. Roman comes in and that's says true. he died. Yeah. He could be oh, undercover. He's passionate. Oh, I'm he's very, very passionate, passionate about that. <laughs> true. Until you see. Because you never saw him, and well, they never go to see him. That's true. Yeah. That's true. They just say that's that, true. I'm just saying. It's I literally got on YouTube and I was like, I'm watching this again. Because I know that there's an out, there's a way to bring that's him back. That's true. Yeah. yeah. I mean it's always hard when you mention someone who's part of a couple though. Yeah. You know, and that's what's great about Kate because she was never like right. oh, a couple. I'm available. <laughs> but you know, it doesn't mean it has to be romantic. I would right. definitely would like to have worked I with him. You guys could work with the spectator together. We could we, yeah. yes I think you used they to work did. with the spectator. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. yeah I think they worked together. Yeah. So you know he would have been one that I missed. Deborah. That's why I didn't remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you know. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Emma, thank you so much for thank calling you. in and make sure. Emma, you do you have an in. idea of who? Oh, yeah. Of who you would um, like to see Kate with? Or honestly, work with? Anyone you worked with has just been great. I really enjoyed your yeah. storyline with um, been lucky. Gabby and and uh, Sammy. So yeah. any kind of you know. Girl pairings is always I, fun. You to know, me because actually, usually you take down the bad guy. I'm so glad you said that because see, I went right to the man pairing, <laughs> <laughs> and I really shouldn't have because I would love to work um, with Christian. You know, Christian and I are friends. Oh. Yeah. yeah, and I think Hope and yeah, Kate. You I would guys like don't to really. No, oh, we yeah. don't. I would love to do that. You know, we well, have if this like, whole rape thing. 
Because oh. <laughs> we're not we're not stupid over here. Yeah. Now, but <laughs> right. We see the writing on the wall. Mm. So mm. Hmm, maybe yeah, maybe because that would be gr- that would really be fun. I'd yeah. like to do. I'd like to work yeah. with more. Yeah. Oh, nice. That, I never thought about that pairing. Yeah, that would be interesting. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. for sure. Oh. Yeah. I don't know, but I feel like if Kate's involved and like Rafe may be involved, then somebody's getting poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get on Kate's bad side. Kate, Kate, Kate has moved on. Kate has moved on. Okay, it's done. It's done. It's done. Well, thank you, Emma, for calling thank in, you. and make sure you keep watching us every Sunday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for Dish and Days. I will. Thanks so much, guys. You have a great afternoon. Thank, thank you. you. Well, um, speaking of of working with with people, uh, you work with your husband um, on do. the show. I He's do. now uh, the head. Makeup yes, artist he's there. Head, head of makeup and hair. Yeah. How is that working? Well, on, let me just say, your hair and makeup always looks amazing. Always on point. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You hear that, Nikki? <laughs> but it always does. That's true. Um, <laughs> um, it was, well, it, the funny thing is that I had done my own makeup for, <laughs> for like almost 20 years. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, so it was a real transition, you know, having so to give it in that up giving it over does but he do it at home for you too no no <laughs> but he used to uh-huh. but we used to fight about it a lot because <laughs> he actually taught me how to do it then uh-huh. you know once you, you teach a person how to bake bread they, yeah, <laughs> they exactly. have their own recipe exactly. so you know that's what happened I wanted to do certain ways so he just stopped doing it so when he came to the show I was like oh <laughs> I don't know. That's how I do. It. But it, it was a time when we were transitioning too into the whole high def thing, mm-hmm. and he's such a, he's so great at it. Yeah. And, and everyone's makeup has been brought down and mm-hmm. everything. So it was like it was perfect. So now yeah. we're, I'm very happy to sit in that chair. You know, <laughs> six in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I have someone else do it. Yeah, have someone else do it. Did you know that that he was coming? Like, was there a discussion? Like, is this okay if I come on? Or like, how did that transition? work for him to be on the on the show well I mean that was all you know between him and the show oh good okay. so yeah it really had nothing to do with me but um I, I think, I'm trying to think if there was one time I was like is this cool it's cool yeah. but it, it, it is cool because we had worked together so we worked together on YNR yeah. um, you know even on Bold Beautifully gave me a look for that so mm-hmm. you know it was uh, it's kind of our careers have been intertwined it over the years so yeah. Yeah. When, when you worked at YNR was it like that's before, where we, before you got together was it like I can't wait to see him. Was that what? You can tell me. It's okay. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? Oh, I totally am. <laughs> Mark made Lauren blush. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so funny. It's like you said it. <laughs> You've been there. I uh, have. Yeah, I sit in the Days Rise parking lot and go, there's Billy Flynn. <laughs> uh, that's true. Yeah, it was. Only, only it was weird because in the beginning, I was um, like dating someone else, so oh, I would actually okay. sit there like early, and it's like when you're sitting in a, a bar, except you're not drinking, right? And mm-hmm. um, you're just talking to the bartender about, oh, I'm dating this guy, and he's and like this nice. and that. Yeah. So it would be like Nikki, like he's wearing my makeup. I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, oh no, you know. Yeah. So and then you know, he started helping me. Well, you should. And he said after a while, I was like, he wanted to, like, what the hell? Why am I her like her best friend? Yeah. You know, it's like this needs to change. Yeah. So you know, and it did. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And then it was cool. And then, and then I was like all blushing in his chair. <laughs> so that's a short version. I know. I, like, I gotta ask her about. It. And your daughter's name, Millie Kate. Millie Kate. It's Which? a. It's a. It's Amelia Katarina. Okay. And but we always called her a uh, Millie Kate. Kate. Okay. And she's now shortened it to Kate. Okay. Oh. You know. Okay. I know because her professional name is Kate. Yeah. Oh, okay. I know. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> We're like, yeah, of oh. course she did. No, of course she, of course she changed it to Kate. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that just dawned on me. Okay. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> now, how are you feeling about uh, the changes that are being made to days now? Because back a few months ago, there was a huge article from King Corday letting us know that there are going to be so many changes and writer changes happening mm-hmm. um, with days. And now with the storyline of the necktie killer, um, like how, how are you feeling about the changes that, that have happened? on days recently well you know change is always happening yes. you know to start it, certainly I've seen lots of changes mm-hmm. since I've been on the show you know people have been on longer I've seen them so yeah. you know it is just a um, 
it's kind of what happens. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, our last writers, I mean, they were great. You know, Chris Witzel and Gary um, Tomlin, and, you know, he had been an executive producer. And, yeah. You know, but then there comes a time for a change, and, mm -hmm. you know, you bring in um, our new writers who are, you know, f fantastic. And, mm -hmm. um, I know they were... I was talking about the high depth. So there's, yeah. there's there's changes everywhere. There's a change in the look of the show. Oh, you know, yeah. In the the pace of the writing. You know, mm -hmm. the kind of story. The telling story is faster now. Yeah. Um, bringing back castmates. You know, some leave, some come back. Yeah. Um, so I mean, it's it's all positive. You mm -hmm. know, you know, it's always sad when there's a transition and a new regime because you you know you're saying goodbye to people that you've worked with. You know. Yeah. Um, but I'm I'm super optimistic. Yeah. Um, about where the show's going and there's just um, a renewed energy and commitment and mm -hmm. you know to have Ken Corday um, talk about the show that way yeah. I mean it's just it's it's huge you know because yeah. he's committed to the show yeah. and I think the important thing is, is to remember about um, especially this format it's the format we see everywhere we mm -hmm. see it on nighttime we see it on cable premium yeah. channels I mean it's the continuing drama long for drama long format yeah. Uh, yeah. drama and people love to see it and so um, you know we've been doing it for 50 years we just want to make sure we're doing it in a way now that's contemporary and that we'll, people right. continue to tune in and, and maybe we'll get new viewers too well, I was saying I, well, we went to we went to Martha Madison's premiere for mm -hmm. her web series and I was talking to her about everything and I was just saying that I like, I, obviously I watch it so it's yeah. not like I have that much of an issue with it but sometimes I get frustrated because it's like I I understand why things are the way they w are because of how television used to be mm -hmm. so you had to repeat yourself you had to do this over again you had to keep talking about relationships and stuff mm -hmm. but now I feel like if you want to find something out, you just Google it. Like, I don't need everything repeated back to me so yeah. much. Yeah. So I kind of like that the stories are now moving a little bit quicker. Okay. I still think there's room to get rid of some extra exposition, exposition, exposition. <laughs> but yeah. that's just but my But you know, I, I think we are going to be getting rid of it. Okay, good. Yeah, we definitely are. Because they oh. are, because even now when I'm looking at a script, I'm like, what? Wait a minute. It, uh, you know, so there's okay. there's more that's happening off screen, okay, good. which I think is good. I mean, it's it's when you're used to doing it all mm -hmm. on screen. I mean, it's like odd, and you have to get caught up with it. Oh, what did I do in the last scene? Okay, but this last script, but the, you know, all of this must have happened. But I I do see that it's it is necessary. We okay. need to do, we need to move it along because you know the audience. That's what they're used to seeing everywhere now. Well, that's what I'm saying now. Like the 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 continuing dramas like Empire and right. all these other shows are like they just ha they just move I mean? they just move and they go they and move. that's what people like and I yeah. think if anything it's going to help get yeah. more Oh, I think so too. You know? I yeah. think so too. So. You know, and now and now that we're getting used to it, you know, it's it's fun to do it. Yeah, too, because you're not kind of labored down. With now like they repeating need to repeating stop it. this filming five months in advance. You guys should get a five month vacation <laughs> and then come back and just pick up there and none of this five months in advance. Stuff. Well, you don't have to do the five month vacation. <laughs> <laughs> that might that might be a little too long. We don't have to do that, but I mean, we do take a lot of time. Like we like we, we tape for three weeks, then we're down for a week, and okay. yeah. so maybe we can stop taking those breaks. Right. You know, yeah. Just and then we get caught up slowly. Yeah, slowly. But yeah. I I do agree with that because you know it's hard be, because once it airs, you know, you're seeing the audience's reaction like to a yeah. particular mm -hmm. story or to a pairing, and you know if it's five months later, well it's too late. Too you know, late. That person might exactly. be off the show and yeah. maybe the audience loved them. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe they hated them and now we're stuck with five you know, months of Thank them. Thank you. So, that you know, seems I, to be more the case for me. Yeah. <laughs> but, so, you know, I, I agree. I agree yeah. with that. You know, it, I don't know. Maybe they'll address that in the future. Good. Well, we have a caller and I'm hoping it's the person that I think it is. Hello, caller. Welcome to After Buzz TV Spotlight On. What's your Hello, name? everyone. This is James Lott Jr. Hi! Host James. So, Lauren, this is our, our other co-host, James. The historian. Um, yes, the historian. <laughs> I'm um, excited. And uh, he, unfortunately, is out of town, but I saw that he was in the chat, and he was like, oh, I couldn't get through, and I was like, call again. And when I saw it come up, I was like, I hope it's him, so Yay! that he didn't miss out on a chance to, to oh. talk to you. So, hello, yeah. James. Hello, you guys. Miss Lauren. Yes. You are fabu. <laughs> We're going hashtag Devalicious. I love that. Thank you. I just, I am, I am such a long time fan. I know you and I are only like, you know, in our early twenties, but 
<laughs> That's a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, long time fan. Oh, I so love it. I'm so it's so it's such right now. It's just a, a joy, and I live in gratitude right now to even speak to you right now. Oh, <laughs> I love <laughs> you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love you too. You hey. guys are doing a great job. Mark, you made her blush. <laughs> yeah, he did. Right? Legit, legit. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Hey James, I, I believe that. James, I have a question for you because we were we were going through the history of the character of Kate, and we can't yeah. figure out when ch or why she changed her name to Roberts. Do you know? Well, I remember that when her kids were taken away from her from Curtis, mm -hmm. right? Um, and then she went on, and then she ended up being pregnant with Bill Horton's child, which was Lucas. Mm -hmm. Lucas. Uh, while you're on the run, and I believe you just chose the name Roberts. Oh, because she was on the run. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. You're on yeah. the run. To stay away uh, from, yeah. The, yeah. Okay. I believe you were just on the run. I can't, I don't, I don't think there was, a, they gave a specific reason, yeah. like. Yeah, I think I kind of remember and, that yeah. from <laughs> 20 years ago. Yeah, <laughs> and there was, because they would have, at this point, I think, would have brought up who was the Mr. Roberts, or who was this Roberts. Yeah, family. yeah. Yeah. Right. Hey, let me ask you a question, since you're a longtime fan. Yes. You know. <laughs> yes. Um, don't you think Lucas's last name should go back to Robert? Yes. I, it's, it's hurtful that he's a Horton. Yeah. That he's calling himself a Horton. I like, I, I I like Lucas Roberts. I like Lucas Roberts. I, like Lucas Roberts. I agree. You know, I totally agree. Lucas Roberts sounds better. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, you kind of reminded me. I mean, we're on the run together, for yeah. God's sakes. Yeah. I mean, he's a Roberts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, and Bill's not around. <laughs> Bill's not around. What well, you know, right you know, now. One of the things about, I love about about the relationship between Kate and Lucas is that you guys are mother and son, but in some ways you're partners in crime. Yeah. You're mm -hmm. friends. Yeah. You're friends. It's so true. So that relationship's been played up to death, and I love that. And it's like, I think he should have stayed Roberts because it is. it's like a camaraderie. Well, no, I home. agree. It's, it was almost like I remember when it happened because it was during a period when they were estranged, and it was literally like a slap in the face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that was yeah. hurtful. So I almost felt like once they got together, like he could have taken the name back. But I, yeah. I, but I said, I, I, I think I said this last week. I loved your guys' scene at, uh, with Will, or uh, with, with everything with Will happening, mm -hmm. and how it kind of brought you guys brought back together. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. like it, it was did. like, and yeah. I always say this like sometimes they come up with these really contrived reasons to get people back together yeah. or to mm -hmm. tear people apart, and that was so believable yeah. and so like just like yeah. uh, heartbreaking. You were just yeah. like yes. Patch it up, you know. Yeah, yeah. nothing else matters. Yeah, <laughs> nothing else matters. <laughs> right, no, thank you yeah, about. and that would have been a so great moving. time for him to take the name Roberts back. It yes. would have been a great time. <laughs> You're I'm right. This is why I should be this writing for the show. So and, I know you see, have a little pull. <laughs> if they weren't five months ahead, you you could have went back and I suggested know. that, and we could have had that. And think of it this way: right if I'm writing for the show, imagine the amazing stuff I'm going to write for you. I know. <laughs> it's going to be you, and Billy, and, Billy, and Lisa Lucas, Renna, and, and Lucas, and then, <laughs> it's going to be Matt Dazzik! And Maxine's son. <laughs> and Maxine's son. This is Maxine's son. I, I, so, I so want a role on the show as Maxine's son. Oh my God, I think it would be, be amazing. so amazing. I <laughs> can talk see it now. Talk about another uh, uh, mother-son relationship. I right? Know. We could dominate the hospital. <laughs> No. They mentioned saying. it this I week. Know. I know. Did you, did that, did I know. You hear what I, I lied to you. That's not what they said. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, because he's always saying, Maxine. <laughs> he's always saying, oh, what's no. my Maxine's son? So I was like, I messaged him, because they did mention her this yeah. week. And uh, I said, yeah, they mentioned her. They said that she had some disease and she's not allowed to have children. And he was like, <gasps> I was like, well, and then, and then I was totally like, minor detail, one phone call. Phone call, we'll totally take care of that. We'll take care of that. Like, oh, like no. she thought she couldn't have kids, but look who popped up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was messing with you. Uh, right. Well, James, thank you for calling in. We have to wrap things up with Lauren. But, of course. Um, well, but, I just want to say, Miss uh, Lauren. You and I owe each other a hug when I see you in person. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. I would love that. Yes. yes. And that is going to happen this Sunday when we come oh, to the yeah, we're going to Sunday. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Absolutely. I will see you then. Looking forward to the hug. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Bye, James. Guys. Bye. Bye, see you James. Soon. Bye, -bye. Um, Speaking of the, of the book tour, Days... Uh, 
celebrating their 50th year, and they've come out with uh, another book yes. uh, celebrating the 50th uh, yes, anniversary. Yes, a celebratory book. Yeah. And um, you guys are taking it on the road We again. are taking it on the road, and we're starting it off um, this Sunday at The Grove yes. in L.A. We'll be there. Yes. Yay. And then we go on to New York City, to mm -hmm. New Jersey, to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Yeah, I saw yeah, that. The whole lot of cities. <laughs> if yeah. you just go to days, hashtag days 50. Well, I, I, Not 50th, I, 50. Yeah, I, I say I reposted you, where you were going to be on my Thanks, Facebook yeah. page. <laughs> so if you want to know where she's going to be, That's go to my, yes. Mark, uh, the Mark J. Freeman on Facebook, and you'll see her oh, dates. Oh, cool. So, yeah. cool. Yeah. And make sure I actually got it from your page. So yeah. I, Oh, <laughs> thank you, Marie. <laughs> and when you guys go, make sure you say hello to her because yes, she's please, so super sweet. See, yeah. Please come in. Yeah, say hi. Get your book signed. It's a great book, too. They went yeah. into the archives. We were looking at it the other day. Um, Dieter and I did a little thing on the... KTLA. Yeah, KTLA. Yeah. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. And we had we hadn't seen the book yet, so we're you know sitting like this, yeah, and yeah. they bring in the book, and we're about to, and we're like, oh, <laughs> you're like cra it's it's so you're yeah. cracking up. Yeah, we were time. totally yeah. cracking up because it, it's yeah. amazing, some amazing photos. Yeah. I was glad to see the blood wedding got in there. Oh, Kate's blood oh. wedding. Did anyone remember the blood wedding? Yeah, yeah. Before Game of Thrones, <laughs> <laughs> blood wedding. So <laughs> it's in there. It's well, all in there. I, I hate that I missed out on uh, you and Deidre's trip to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. I know, KTLA. I saw that too. I saw that and I was like, man, I so would have went with them oh, for that. Oh, <laughs> my God. I, I tell our publicist, Maya, because she didn't want to go, but she uh, did. Oh. <laughs> she was so busy because she's so busy doing yeah. the tour and everything. Yeah. And it was just like girls going there. Yeah. You know, it wasn't work. It's, Deidre said, I have to bring you to this place. And, yeah. then, and I guess when the show used to be down at Sunset Gower, they used uh -huh. to go there all the time. Yeah. And I hadn't been there before. I've what? never been either. In oh my 14 God. years of living in LA, I've never been. I've oh my God. I've and, been there a couple of and times. And you know, I'm a vegan. Oh, okay. oh can't, can't be vegan there. Oh, sister, no, I wasn't. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I couldn't. <laughs> we, just, we just ordered it, and it was damn good. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> that I chicken. don't have vegan pizza rolls, I apologize. <laughs> There's no <laughs> vegan pizza rolls. Let's if I would have known, I actually almost I was like, oh, I should Google to see if she had. I know it's a yeah. big bore, isn't it's okay. it? I'm sorry, <laughs> it's okay. but, I'll, I'll leave but I, you know, I go back and forth. I've been vegetarian, I've been vegan, yeah. but you know, when yeah. anything's special, I'm gonna try it. You're right. gonna try it, and yeah. I'm glad okay. you tried Roscoe's chicken and waffles because oh you cannot my pass that up. God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I was there during the daytime. Her at nighttime was a lot different. Oh, oh yeah, like crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so before we wrap things up with you, Lauren, um, if you could sum up your experience. Uh, at days, how, I mean, how how would you? I mean, it's been such a an amazing and continues to be an amazing time. But like, how could you sum up your your time on on days? God, I mean, that, it is so huge. I mean, the first word that just when you're saying that is gift. Yeah. I mean, this was a gift to me. Yeah. You know, really, just you know, getting the gig, getting to play this fabulous character, mm -hmm. um, to have all of the writers, and we've had a lot of them, you know, over the years, mm -hmm. you know, develop this character and write her the way they have. Yeah. You know, to Ken Corday, uh, Greg Ming, it's it's just, it's been an amazing, amazing ride, and, and it allowed me to, you know, to be in town, <laughs> have this job, you know, to have a family and have a regular home life, which is huge, yeah. you know. So I just keep on going back to gift. The whole thing has been a gift to me, and, yeah. um, and I hope that um, I've been able to give back, too, you know, give back to them for them trusting me with you know with this role, yeah. um, and to the audience too, who you know invest so much in the show. And um, I hope I have entertained you, oh, and I hope yeah, I continue definitely. to do it. You know, trust love me. you. Trust <laughs> me, you have entertained for the whole time that you and you continue to entertain. Thank like you. I, I love to love Kate, and I sometimes love to hate Kate. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. I, I, I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you. That's my job. That's my job. Well, job Check well done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Done. Accomplished. Well, Lauren, thank you so much thank for, for coming in thank and chatting with me. us about your time on Days and, and everything that you have done. Like, we wish you nothing but continued success with the show and Thank we you. hope that it's on for another 50 years. Now. I do too. <laughs> I might not be on those shows. <laughs> I hope someone else is. Well, they can push you around a wheelchair with an That's Oscar right. don't you <laughs> <laughs> I'm good with it. Play a little rock and roll I'll be right. <laughs> uh, Before we head out, uh, let's find out where you guys can connect with all of us via social media. We'll start with Mark. Let them know uh, where they can find Instagram you. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Lorraine Love, L-O-R-A-Y-N-E-L-O-V-E and on Facebook backslash the Mark J. Freeman. 
And Lauren, where can they find you? You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Lauren Coslow. And look for um, Facebook page. A special shout out to Marie and Sherry. Thank you for all you do. Thanks, girls. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, you guys can find me on all social media platforms at Lounging with Tony or my website, loungingwithtony.com. And don't forget, every Sunday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we do a full recap of your favorite soap opera days of our lives right here. And you can follow us and like us on Instagram, Facebook, Dish and Days. We'll see you this coming Sunday for that full recap. Thanks, you guys. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.